this is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is going to be a wonderful week. Um, this is the fourth week of November. It is always Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. I want to say thank you for the support, the likes, and the shares. Um, please open up to us and please support us by donating for the homeless because we are uh, or the people who are less um, fortunate please remember to listen to the video that I have done for the special that I'm having in this week of Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there and I'm wishing you a lot of wonderful positive energies I'm hoping that everything that you wish for you will receive um, this week is a week of water it is a changing of the guard in this week because the element of water and the zodiac energy of water from Monday until Tuesday is going to be very emotional but um, as we move on to Friday it's going to be changing up we have the energy of the six of cups so a lot of you Virgos are going to have situation with your family and soul family whatever the issue is situation that um, is playing out whatever that has transpired in your life you need to understand that this these are karmatic situation that you Virgos have to be dealing with in this week this is going to be a week where a lot of you because you Virgos are very loving um, you Virgos have a connection with your family and also people who are um, also people who are out of uh, or connected in the spiritual family which is your soul family so a lot of situation is going to happen in this week that has to do with your family situation and your soul family it is the week beginning the 20th until the 26th okay in this week you have a lot of reverse um, I was like okay a lot of reverse um, the energy of the ten of Pentacles came up for you guys um, judgment ten of Pentacles the king of cups um, the energy of uh, um, the um, the devil is in reverse which is good whatever the situation with the energy of the devil in reverse you have the four of one so you have a strong um, foundation nine of uh, sword is also in reverse which is good and the energy of the two of cups is in reverse so a lot of situation is happening with your family so whatever that has transpired um, that whatever that has um, transpired um, there is a judgment over your financial situation so it could be when the judgment and the ten of Pentacles comes up it could be that um, you're going to be losing your job something like that so um, be aware of this so let's look forward and see what is happening with the energy of the judgment the energy of the judgment have to do with the knight of wands um, the Pentacles you're looking for money you're going to be victorious in whatever situation the seven of cups good situations is coming in you have a strong foundation but you're having a little bit of regrets news email text message will be coming in and it could be from the king of cups so for you women who are um, connecting with the king of cups there is going to be new situation that is coming in um, the energy of the magician comes in um, which is going to be your focus with the family and you have to find a solution um, the energy of the magician is really um, teaching you to find solutions in whatever family situation that is going on whatever um, a family situation that has a car or it can be fr with friends but these friends are people who you have known um, for lifetime and lifetime or uh, f um, social um, family uh, situation so okay there is a judgment that is coming in on Monday um, um, there is judgment that is coming in on Monday for you Virgos from the Knight of Wands who is this Knight of Wands this Knight of Wands is someone who is an, an, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and this is someone between the ages of 18 and 35 so we are going to look to find out what is the judgment what is what does this person have to say to you what is the judgment what does this person have to say to you the five of swords there is um, conflicts with this person whoever this person is there is conflicts and uh, um, what is going to happen is that um, 
um, this judgment that is coming in is this person um, bringing um, words okay all right there's obviously a message that needs to come out um, this conflicts with this person and um, you're sitting down and planning and you're going within to find out how you can resolute this conflicts okay so whoever this person is whoever um, this um, knight of ones is you're going to go within to find out how you can resolute this conflicts between this person and the energy of the magician is going to help you to find solutions to deal with this person and this situation on Tuesday you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles reverse and you have the page of Pentacles trying to find a, a way to balance your financial situation this was weird when I saw the energy of the Pentacles coming out in reverse this is what's very weird so anyway um, for earth sign yeah um, you trying to find financial situation and trying to find a balance in your life um, this is what is going to be happening on Tuesday so it is a Tuesday is supposed to be a good day for you so let's um, look and see what is this ten of Pentacles and this page of, of coins is saying um, it's going to be a celebration and your financial situation is going to be good no matter what is happening so this is good so um, do not worry the ten of Pentacles comes up in reverse but do not worry because the page of Pentacles is coming to you to say that there is going to be a celebration a celebration that you are going to find a way to bring financial stability in your life and not alone financial stability but new love is also going to come in your life and this is going to be wonderful and positive as we look at this situation and we are trying to understand what exactly is going on you're going to see that you are thinking about you're not having it but you're going to have it it is just that maybe at the moment your flow is not flowing correctly so you can call upon the angels and guides and ask them about that so what they're actually saying is stop worrying about the material world because um, whatever you worry about is whatever you bring in existence so what you need to do is to um, celebrate what you have and by celebrating what you have more will come in and not only love and money will not only money will come in but love will also come in the crowning of your week you have the energy of the king of cups so um, some people if you're having a relationship with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion you're going to realize that um, you're going to be victorious over this so let's say that you have been dealing with this person whatever injustice or whatever that has been transpired between you and this person um, it could be a conflict that has been going on you are going to win this conflict so whoever this person is this king of cups that you have been having um, conflicts with and um, you are you're finally going to win this conflict because you have a victory and a success here and this victory and success is going to bring you to a positive place so let's say that this person did not want to um, see you um, success um, this success is really going to come in for you happy Thanksgiving it is the 23rd of November happy Thanksgiving you have the energy of the devil in reverse and thank God so for the people who were thinking oh my god I really don't want to go to Thanksgiving please go because whatever that has kept you away from Thanksgiving or whatever that you were thinking oh my god I really don't want to go because I really don't want to see these people and whatever that was transpiring between you and your family because it is a week where you are going to need to find solution for um, situations that was happening go to Thanksgiving because um, you are going to realize that when you go the energies is going to be good and you're going to be dreaming and be happy that you really did um, take the chance to go and understand that this is going to work out in your favor whatever the conflict was because obviously there was a conflict with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion you're going to realize that this conflict is going to be ending and this is going to be positive this is going to be good and it is going to be working out all in your favor for you Virgos okay 
let's look good things are going to be happening so for the Virgos who um, realize that they have lost their jobs and that sort of a situation you're going to realize that something new is going to come and some people had um, uh, conflicts with their supervisors and boss who wanted to keep them down and then you're going to re realize that on a Friday you have a good strong foundation and whatever you the regrets was on Friday you're going to realize that your foundation is very good so there is no need to worry about any situations okay you have a strong foundation as we move forward on Saturday you have the energy of the nine of swords in reverse this is so powerful this is so good with the energy of the Knight of um, sword in reverse because new um, things um, if you're looking for a job a lot of information a lot of text message a lot of mails a lot of invitation a lot of positive message will be coming in because now you're seeing clearly and now um, whatever thoughts negative thoughts that you have is no more you are seeing clearly and you're seeing the way forward and this is going to be good as we move on we have the energy of the two of cups in reverse so a lot of you who are having relationship with the king of cups because the king of cups is showing up twice in this week so a lot of um, you Virgos are having situation with the king of cups and for people who are in a relationship with a king of cups um, this there is going to be a little um, misunderstanding. Maybe it's not misunderstanding. It's, it's as if this man is. Um, um, it's as if this man is. Okay, for the people who have um, married, to, I, I, who are going around with someone who is married and he's the king of cups um, he's not going to be able to see you in this week and um, because family situation take first so a lot of you won't be happy um, for the people who are seeing people who are in other relationships and um, you're expecting to see this person because it, you know uh, in the weekend it's not going to happen on Sunday because uh, this person needs to um, take up his responsibility and be with his family so um, it's not that the love isn't there because the love is there it's just that he's not capable and he's he there's so much things that is on his plate especially if you're seeing a Pisces and he is a business person and he has relationship or he's in a relationship or he's married um, um, his family come first okay it's not that he doesn't love you it's not that he doesn't want to be with you or he doesn't um, it, it's just that his family come first you need to give him time because you both um, you know you and the Pisces because I'm feeling for some people it's a Pisces I'm feeling for some people it's um, cancer and for some people it's scorpion so if you're in a relationship with a scorpion or a Pisces or a um, cancer man it's not that he doesn't want to be with you or it's not that he can't be with you it's just that something is at a ray and he needs to look about that so it's not that he's you know backing out or anything like that and okay listen um I'm given the message that I received because um, not everyone have a partner for themselves and some people um, seems to connect with um, people who are in uh, who are married or in long relationships and um, this is what I'm receiving so um the week is going to be a week where family and a soul connection and um, whenever you meet someone who's in another relationship and and sometimes you're in a relationship they are in a relationship but there is such a strong connection there is love there is lust there is everything sometimes it's it, it is just a cosmic family it's as if you have been with this person in other lifetimes and you come back in this lifetime and you're wor you're working out certain aspects and certain things so 
for a lot of you Virgos there is new love that is coming in new love is coming in for a lot of you Virgos and it's going to be with the cancers the Pisces and the scorpion new love is coming in for you Virgos strong um, you know powerful love is coming in for you Virgos and it's going to be with other people in your life and this is going to be good so whatever is happening know that this person really truly loves you okay this is going off in the love section of your reading this person really truly loves you but his family comes first and he wants to share himself with his family but you know what I'm getting is that this person is really saying to you because um, you're dreaming about being with them um, and um, you need to understand that um, it's not that they don't want to be with you but some of them because I'm seeing and this is for someone who is sharing someone else and when I say sharing someone else is that you and this person connect on a soul level and a lot of this is going to happen I am seeing a lot of this happening around me that people are married and they're connecting with other people out of their marriage it has always happened it has always happened because people tend to marry to certain people but they they have feelings for other people and it's you Virgos are like this you are always uh, um, choosing certain people is you will never choose the woman who you want you choose the woman who is there for you and who takes care of you and um, there is someone else that is out there that you are in love with and who you connect with but your life come first and their lives come first and it's not that they don't want to it is going to be a week where some people were wishing that they could have seen this person in the weekend after Thanksgiving and a lot of text messages a lot of text message a lot of connection this person is going to send you a lot of text message and let them know how they really feel about you and this information is coming from someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio these are the only people that is working in this week because remember that this week is a week of a soulmate connection family connection and finding a resolution to um, this situation and obviously um, it is for some people you have met this person um, maybe you have seen them two or three times and there is such a strong connection with this person and this person is realizing that um, the feelings that they felt is getting stronger and stronger in the weekend you are going to have a situation where they're not close to you they're not nearby you they can't come to you to see you but they will be sending you message to let them to let to let you know how they really feel about you and this is going to be good whatever that is happening um, you're going to um, in business and in work you're going to still have to deal with these water sign people which is the Pisces the cancer and the scorpion and love they're coming in with love but yet still in the business form if there was a conflicts or something that was a ray you're going to see that this is going to be ill so again for the women out there um, yes because the man for the women out there the Virgo women out there who have connected with a scorpion a Pisces or a cancer man it's not that he doesn't want to be with you it's just that his he has things that needs to be done his family comes it's not really the, yeah his family come first let's say it like that because if you're going to think that a married man they put their family before no no matter how they feel about you um, their families always before but these men's all these um, water sign men always have somebody outside because sometimes they married to certain people for certain things and then afterwards they meet the love of their lives so um, he you know you're dreaming to be with him and he wants to be with you but right now his family come first let's go ahead and see because we're working with the light workers and the, the initial initial of water came up for also um, the um, initial of water came up for also the 
um, Taurus is so obviously um, the universal angels and guides are saying to you earth sign people that you need the initial by water and the initial by water is saying that you need to some people who are baptized or dope or that sort of thing or just cleanse you can just go to the sea and cleanse yourself because what is happening is that they're saying that you need to cleanse your energy vibration you need to be blessed by the pure water by the spirit the Holy Spirit because water is um, purity water is blessing and if you notice people who drinks a lot of water they're very psychic they're very um, open they, they channel very well because um, water is good let's see if the light workers have another message it's another water sign it's the 11 11 message in the numbers so obviously you Virgos are going through something um, um, obviously what is happening whatever this this happened in a reading that means that um, the initial by water and I, I have to do this for you guys so this one your spiritual part this lifetime involves you becoming a clear channel for a spirit you are meant to communicate with our guidance from the loving um, spiritual world your in intuition by water will further open your receiving channel the dissolving lower vibrational material and sense and send and make you sensitive to um, a realm of light you are being open to a world of which you may only have dreams such as it beauty grace and love so it's all about beauty grace and love you need to go to the sea if you don't want to be baptized you need to go to the sea by going to the sea you cleanse and you initial yourself because I did a video about um, when I was a baby and I was christened and it is um, by christening is the water you were blessed by the Holy Spirit you also have the number um, 11 11 message in the number the universe is speaking to you through the number 11.11 .11 on your phone to the repeating number pattern that catches your eyes information is being transmitted from the creative universal intelligence into your cellular awareness you may feel um, um, energies merging and healing is happening as you receive these transmission of the number frequency of 1111 and I've always tell people 1111 is a wake-up call it is a frequency that there is a portal open and spiritual light and information is coming this I have never um, have this card for any other sign you are the first sign I've had this deck for quite a while so obviously for you Virgos who are out there you need to be awakened now this 1111 wants you you to be awakened because you need to do work on this planet and it says as the in the invocation it says I give thanks for the message um, energetic healing supports and encouragement gives to me now and always through unconditional love I give permission to the unconditional love to heal my body, mind, and soul through the healing frequency of the number. Many are being called. Feel free to love and guide intelligence beam of this supportiveness, nurturing universe through love and grace and your own free will. So be it. And this is good. Um, I'm going to use this card for the year readings because um, the year readings are about to come up. It is very important that you Virgos awaken to your true spiritual self because this is what it is saying. Namaste. I love you all. Um, have a wonderful Thanksgiving for the people who celebrate Thanksgiving. For the people who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I'm sending you a lot of love and light, pure love and light. Um, and please remember to listen to the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. The information is very important, and you need to understand where you are on this journey. I love you. Namaste until next week.